Lamina to be Ethiopian education. Lamina to be Ethiopian education. Hello and welcome to Lomina Tube. In today's lesson, titled 1.5 The Role of Africa in Human Evolution, we'll explore the remarkable contributions of Africa to the story of human evolution. From the discovery of Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy, in Ethiopia to other groundbreaking fossil finds across the continent, Africa holds the key to understanding our early ancestors. Let's dive into this fascinating journey and uncover the milestones that shaped humanity. Stay tuned and enjoy the lesson. Lesson Learning Outcomes At the end of this lesson, learners will be able to Draw a chart showing the major stages of human evolution. Identify and locate different archaeological sites in Africa, including Ethiopia, on a map. Understand the significance of key hominid discoveries, such as Sahelanthropus cadensis, Australopithecus ramidus, and Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy. Explain the evolutionary importance of bipedalism in hominids. Recognize the role of the East African Rift Valley as a key region for early human evolution and significant fossil discoveries. One, the oldest hominid fossil, Sahelanthropus cadensis. Dis discovered in northern Chad in 2001. Sahelanthropus cadensis is one of the oldest known species in the human evolutionary lineage. Its discovery marked a significant milestone in the study of human origins, providing crucial insight into early hominid development. Estimated age, 7 to 6 million years old, one of the earliest known hominid fossils, dating back to a crucial period in human evolution when early human ancestors first began to appear. This species lived between 7 and 6 million years ago in West Central Africa, specifically in what is now Chad. Importance, one of the earliest known hominids, providing insight into the split between humans and chimpanzees. This fossil helps scientists understand when humans and chimpanzees began to evolve separately. Sahelanthropus likely walked upright, showcasing early traits of bipedalism. The fossil shows signs of bipedalism, a crucial trait in human evolution, indicating that walking on two legs may have begun with this species. Two, Australopithecus ramidus, Ardi. Discovered in Ethiopia's Afar region in 1994. The discovery of Australopithecus ramidus in Ethiopia's Afar region represents a significant breakthrough in the study of early human evolution. This fossil find provided critical evidence from one of the most important regions for early hominid fossils, reinforcing Ethiopia's role as a cradle of human ancestry and offering key insights into how our ancestors evolved. Fossil age, 4.4 million years. The Australopithecus ramidus fossil is dated at around 4.4 million years old, a pivotal era in hominid evolution. This period represents a time when our early ancestors were beginning to exhibit characteristics that would define the evolutionary shift from ape-like ancestors to the genus Homo, making it an essential find in understanding the timeline of human evolution. Bipedal, but also adapted for life in trees. While Australopithecus ramidus, Arty, was capable of walking upright, she also retained features that made her well-suited for life in the trees. This dual adaptation suggests that Arty represents a transitional form, demonstrating that early hominids had begun to walk on two legs but still relied on climbing and moving through trees for survival. This blend of bipedalism and arboreal ability is crucial to understanding the gradual shift toward full-time ground dwelling showed both primitive and modern characteristics, bridging the gap between earlier species and later hominids. 
Artie exhibited a unique combination of traits found in both earlier primates and later hominids. Her primitive characteristics, such as her ability to climb trees, coexisted with more modern features, like bipedalism. This combination provided critical insights into how human ancestors evolved over time, illustrating the slow process of physical and behavioral change that led to modern humans. Australopithecus ramatus played a crucial role in understanding the transition from tree-dwelling to ground-walking ancestors. Australopithecus ramatus is a key species in understanding how early hominids transitioned from living primarily in trees to becoming more adapted to walking on the ground. Artie's anatomy highlights this evolutionary shift, offering evidence of how early hominids began to explore new environments and adopt ground-based locomotion, a development that would later be central to the evolution of Homo sapiens. 3. Australopithecus afarensis Discovered by Donald Johansson and team in 1974 in Hadar, a far region, Ethiopia, Lucy is one of the most iconic and significant fossil discoveries in the study of human evolution. Unearthed by Donald Johansson and his team in Ethiopia, Lucy's find helped reshape our understanding of early hominids, making the Hadar region a key site for paleontological research. Her discovery remains one of the most important in the field, highlighting Ethiopia's central role in uncovering our human origins. Estimated to be 3.18 million years old, Lucy lived approximately 3.18 million years ago, during a critical phase in the evolution of early human traits. Her age places her at a time when hominids were beginning to show more advanced characteristics, such as bipedalism, setting the stage for the eventual development of the genus Homo. This period in human history was essential for the transition from ape-like ancestors to early humans. The most complete hominid fossil found. 40% of her skeleton Lucy's fossil is remarkable because it is the most complete hominid skeleton ever found, with about 40% of her bones recovered. This level of completeness gives scientists a rare and detailed view of her physical structure, allowing for more accurate reconstructions of her anatomy, locomotion, and lifestyle. This makes Lucy one of the most valuable fossils in understanding early human evolution. Australopithecus afarensis was fully bipedal, indicating walking on two legs was a significant evolutionary trait. Lucy's species, Australopithecus afarensis, was fully bipedal, meaning she walked upright on two legs. This ability to walk upright represents a major milestone in human evolution, as bipedalism allowed early hominids to move more efficiently across open landscapes and free their hands for other tasks. Lucy's bipedalism shows that walking on two legs was a defining trait of human ancestors. Considered a direct ancestor to humans, Lucy and her species, Australopithecus afarensis, are widely considered to be direct ancestors of modern humans. This makes Lucy an important link in the evolutionary chain, helping bridge the gap between earlier hominids and the development of the Homo genus, which includes modern humans. Her discovery underscores the significance of Australopithecus afarensis in human ancestry. Her bipedalism is seen as a critical step toward the development of modern humans. Lucy's ability to walk upright is seen as one of the most crucial evolutionary steps in the development of modern humans. Bipedalism allowed for greater mobility, the use of tools, and the evolution of other advanced traits, such as larger brains. Lucy's fossil provides key evidence of this evolutionary leap, helping scientists understand how walking on two legs shaped the future of human evolution. 4. Australopithecus africanus Discovered in Tong, South Africa, in 1924. The discovery of Australopithecus africanus in Tong, South Africa, marked a groundbreaking moment in the study of human evolution. This find, known as the Tong Child, was significant because it was the first early hominid fossil found in southern Africa. It expanded the geographical scope of where early human ancestors lived and highlighted the diversity of early hominid species across the continent. Estimated to be 2.5 million years old, Australopithecus africanus lived around 2.5 million years ago, a critical period in the timeline of human evolution. 
This species emerged after Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy, and showed further evolutionary developments, bridging the gap between earlier Australopithecines and the genus Homo. Its age places it at an important time when early humans were evolving more advanced traits. Like other Australopithecines, this species was also bipedal. Australopithecus africanus was bipedal, walking upright on two legs like other Australopithecine species. This confirms that bipedalism was a widespread and essential trait among early human ancestors, providing further evidence of its importance in the evolutionary process. The ability to walk upright distinguished these species from their ape-like ancestors and paved the way for the evolution of modern humans. A significant find that extended the range of Australopithecines from East Africa to Southern Africa. The discovery of Australopithecus africanus in South Africa was crucial in demonstrating that early hominids were not confined to East Africa, where many important fossils had previously been found. This species showed that early hominids had a much wider geographic distribution, living in different environments across Africa. It highlighted the diversity and adaptability of early human ancestors. Significance of East African Rift Valley Rich with archaeological evidence of early human evolution, the East African Rift Valley is a major area for discovering fossils that help understand early hominid life. Notable fossil finds include Homo habilis discovered in Oldaway Gorge, Tanzania, and Lake Turkana, Kenya. These areas provided evidence of early tool-using species, contributing to the understanding of human evolution. Here are five multiple-choice questions based on the notes. 1. What is the estimated age of Sahelanthropus cadensis, one of the earliest known hominids? A. 2 to 3 million years. B. 4 to 5 million years. C. 7 to 6 million years. D. 9 to 8 million years. 2. Where was Australopithecus ramidus, arty, discovered? A. Northern Chad. B. Tong, South Africa. C. Hadar, Ethiopia. D. Afar region, Ethiopia. 3. Which feature distinguishes Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy, as a significant ancestor to humans? A. Use of tools. B. Full bipedalism. C. Tree dwelling adaptations. D. Use of fire. 4. What is the estimated age of the fossil of Australopithecus africanus discovered in Tong, South Africa? A. 1.5 million years. B. 2.5 million years. C. 3.5 million years. D. 4.5 million years. 5. Why is the East African Rift Valley significant in the study of human evolution? A. It is where Lucy was discovered. B. It contains rich archaeological evidence, including fossils of Homo habilis. C. It is the oldest region of human habitation. D. It was home to Australopithecus africanus. Corrections Question number 1, C. 7 to 6 million years. Question number 2, D. A far region, Ethiopia. Question number 3, B. Full bipedalism. Question number 4, B. 2.5 million years. Question number 5, B. It contains rich archaeological evidence, including fossils of Homo habilis. Key African fossil discoveries like Sahelanthropus cadensis, Australopithecus ramidus, Arti, Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy, and Australopithecus africanus offer crucial insights into human evolution. The East African Rift Valley's rich archaeological finds highlight the development of early hominid traits and their spread across Africa, advancing our understanding of human origins. That's it for today's lesson on human origins. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more content. Drop your questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay curious and keep learning!